Hi guys, welcome back to XCOM, and I'm deciding I'm gonna actually have fun with the next mission. Everybody gets ghost armor. Let's 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 let's, let's have fun with it. You know, even though I saw the ghost armor, and you know, I'm kind of worried because they can get critted with it. Who cares? Oh, by the way, I made a made a Mr. Colin look a little more schwab, or schwave, or whatever. So everybody gets ghost armor today. Yes, even you. I, I don't really know why I'm doing this, but... <laughs> I don't know, I'll just make everybody cloak. Why not? Alright, well, uh, let's do this. Because I think in that last mission I had um, a sectopod crit me and he only had like three health left. Strike one. Prepare for landing. And Demon 2 became ready pretty much as I was flying over here. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. No, I hope they I hope they stay here. So we have a couple of objectives for this mission, um, namely uh Central, this is Big Sky. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Namely, this person needs to go get a get a kill. Uh, is uh, you know, everyone gets like high defense too. It's gonna be kick ass. Wait, what the hell map is this? We we saw someone up here. Oh, here, there they are. Can I just throw a grenade at them? Who the hell are these guys? Oh, they're mutant elites. All right. I I I'm not sure why. Nobody, like, we can't see him, but whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go over here with Volkov. Let's go group up all my guys really closely together, because they're, they're all friends, and they all want to, like, you know, they want to just check. They just want to chill. All right, we're gonna get a Volkov out with his plasma pistol, because I'm slightly worried. So we need Mr. Cullen's first uh, upgrade here. And... You know, I I somewhat think that it's outside of the boundaries of the map. Uh, you know, we'll move uh, Mr. Shiv up first, because uh, that's a much more kind of decisive move I can make here. Seriously, what the fuck's going on, kids? I I, I don't know at this point what to think. All right. And, uh, Volkov, I kind of want him to move up to the top here, but he could also go, like, here or something. Let's go and, uh, well... Eh, yeah, we'll, we'll wait on that. Okay, and we're gonna bring out a sniper. Like, I... <laughs> this game's kind of, kind of glitchy, not gonna lie. Alright, Mr. Wait, wait, wait. Nope, they're back. Seriously, game, what the fuck? Just, just decide what you want to do, okay? Okay, Mr. Ship, go up here. Wow, he could he could move freaking far. I mean, Mr. Ship's a monster now. All right, and everyone's just gonna just overwatch, I guess. I like I I feel like I should chase these fuckers because seriously, hey. Uh, oh, we can just move up here and see them. Hey, oh look, they're here. Now here's the question we actually ask. Can we actually get a shot off? No, we can't. Okay, well, uh, then we're gonna shoot some people with him. 65 and 65. Well, you know, I've, I've done worse things in life. And that's apparently terrible. I'll try one more. You know, if it's not at least 90%, you know, it, it might as well just, like, be nothing. Alright, uh, let, let's, let's have some fun and just, like, just use this ghost armor. Haha, what are you gonna do now? Like, oh shit, what's, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> you know, 
Can I just like surround them with my guys in the next turn? Just just fuck them. That sounds like fun. It sounds like a terrible idea, but let's try it. I have a feeling this is gonna just end horribly and in tears, and someone's gonna die by this decision. Okay, and Mr. Ship is gonna walk over here. And let's see. Just cloak everybody. You know, this is the reason you equip ghost armor. I, I, you know, I just, I've never tried it, so I, I wanna, I wanna see what it does. Alright, and, okay. use ghost armor, please. Because I've, I've always been curious, like, what a squad of, uh, ghost armor people will do. If you could just, you could kind of spend a turn just getting them into position, can't you? Like, even if they see you, they don't know where you went, because you're... You're ghosting. Unless they're all gonna go into Overwatch and that's somehow gonna fuck me. Um, but you know, it's, that's, that's, that's worth a try to see what, what happens. Uh, so just move him up, up here. Right in front of their face. Alright, let's, let's see what happens. And if I should ever do this again. Uh, oh. You still have a move? I'll just hunker down. So what are they gonna do? He's confused. <laughs> you know, they're actually acting like they don't know where I am, which is kind of funny. And they're not even gonna overwatch, they're just- I think they're just approaching my other sniper. Okay, this is the perfect opportunity for someone to get some really too- Oh, look at this. <laughs> No, it would be great to play with some, like, you know, some Crisis Cloak Engage sounds. Alright, let's go see if we can shoot him with Volkov. Nope, apparently Volkov's gonna miss everything today. Alright, uh, you know what? I'm kind of inclined to bring him out of line of fire. And, let's see if we can just, can we just rocket him? 12 damage, how much health do they even have? Yeah, I can hit them all, and then I can follow up with a grenade by our, our good friend. How much health do they have? That's uh, 5, 5, 14. So that, they'll do full. Um, we'll just bring them over here. Mr. Shiv over there. I mean, they, they didn't even bother to... to. They're not overwatching. I, I, I don't know if overwatch would actually... Uh, uh, fucking, this is awful. This targeting thing. Alright, here we go. It's a little bit better. Alright, I don't know how you can still miss this. This has like computer guidance things. It's the most advanced thing on the planet, you know. Excellent, okay. And you, my friend, get a good guaranteed two kills to start off your kill count. Because I really need leveled up medics. It's the whole reason you brought an alien grenade along with you. And it doesn't actually say she earned a promotion. Oh well. Well, you can go hit him. Well, that was all good fun. Oh wait, I destroyed his cover. Oh well, didn't even matter. Alright, well, uh, Volkov was apparently completely useless that mission, which doesn't happen very often, but you know, everyone has a first time. We'll just uh, have everyone start moving up here. I have to say, Ghost Star was fun, but it's just, you gotta be completely prepared when you meet, like, a, a sectopod, I think. I think that's the main problem. Uh, you know, might as well use you to cloak Volkov. And we'll, uh, we'll make him move right up here. Yeah, he doesn't see anybody. Alright. Well, I guess to the UFO we go, then. I mean, not much else to do, and there's enemies on the horizon, as you'd suspect. They're also, they're not immune to the fire, so it means I, I, I simply can't move into the fire anymore. Uh, so, like, you know, I... Normally, they would be able to take cover right here, um, but you can't, because you're not immune to fire. If that's really important to you, that's how it works. Oh, here we go. Got some dudes. All right. Uh, see, Sniper doesn't have a shot off at all. 
Uh, I could try, like, Mind Frank one of them or something. Some bullshit like that. Which, you know, it, it is a good idea to actually raise her, uh... What? Okay. Uh, it is a good idea to raise her, like, psionic abilities, so I'm actually inclined to do that. Fortunately, if I move too many people into that that place, uh, people are, people are gonna die. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's see where you triple strike can go first. Okay, he can head all the way up here. Possibly get somewhat of a flank off. Although I don't know what's here. So it, I risk triggering people, but I think it's worth the risk, to be honest. Okay. 40, 80. I don't know why that's a really high. Oh, he's behind full cover and he's not behind any cover. Explain that. Okay, well. That didn't work. Um, I'm almost inclined to go and uh, try and grenade this cover right here. Maybe. I uh, no, maybe just suppress. I, I really like suppression, so. And I'll suppress both of them just because, well, maybe not. Because I don't think they're that close to each other. Let's do some mind fray stuff. No, no, no. Mind fray. Oh, we might as well try. Eat mind bullets. Oh, yeah, it worked. He's lower willed now. Uh, it doesn't really do much else than that. Uh, this last guy, I don't know where to put this guy. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll cloak him and then flank next turn. Like, uh, This UFO is really fucked up, actually. Uh, we can cloak him and bring him somewhere, so let's do that. You know, I, I really like it. It's it's like, it, it, you know, I've been saying this a whole lot, but it gives me a lot of, like, tactical opportunities. Okay, and we'll just suppress. Oh, that actually partially ruined his cover. Which actually would have helped, probably. Now I have an option to take a shot here, or possibly just... Ah, we'll take a shot. Yeah, Mr. Shiv is always the one that's reliable. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, assuming he doesn't die. I don't know, well, nobody's gonna die. Yeah, you see, he, he they got massive fucking cover bonuses now. Okay, well, we have a couple of options here. We can, we can do a little shoot and scoot and just uh, come right up to him and shoot him in the face. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Uh... We're gonna ghost, because I don't know if the other one overwatched. I don't think he did, because we did see him, but, you know. Really no point in me not doing this. And we're gonna reveal. And there we go, we got another kill. Awesome shit. I don't know what it's gonna take for him to get a level up, but... Whatever. Eh, 65. We could we could wreck his cover slightly by you know ruining his cover slightly. Oh, I can't shoot him from here. Uh, or we could just go kind of right up to him. I mean, he was just kind of chilling out here. Ninety nine percent. Come on, yes, critical too. To go along with that. Now here's the thing, when it comes to any kind of heavy, you have the option to move and shoot, or shoot twice from where you are, and with a 65% chance to hit, I am not very confident in my ability to hit him. Because it just, XCOM likes to fuck you. Because it has to like, I don't know how the, the, the fucking game rolls for this shit, but uh, I don't trust it. Alright. Uh. We can like toss a grenade, toss a thing in here. Might as well. And nothing's in there. I think would have already been revealed. So, no. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to get ins our asses inside of a UFO. Is that guy. Is that fun? Is that fun, guys? I love UFOs. I think I still have two people with tas taser guns. 
It's weird, it didn't tell me that she got a promotion yet, and uh, she should have. It takes like, doesn't take many kills to get a promotion, and then I can start squad sniping with her. Uh, Alright, well, we didn't see anything over here, but, you know, we'll, uh, we'll move cautiously all the same. Uh, and we're gonna actually bring out our plasma pistol to start shooting some of these guys. I don't think anyone's actually taking any damage because I've been like... I've been playing like an asshole so far, so... You know, it all works out. And he has his sniper out in Overwatch, if you actually see... Oh, uh, sorry, I, and, uh, I switched to his pistol, but he started running and now he has his... Uh, sniper rifle out when he's not supposed to. Awesome. XCOM, everyone. Alright, let's see what's in here. Uh... Does he need like a sniper kill or what? Uh, actually I kind of wanted triple strike to not go here. I wanted uh, my sniper Mr. Colin to actually go over here. Presumably he'll get a nice, uh, nice shot off, but if, in case he doesn't, we will be watching. I don't know. Alright. You know, the, the real problem is we haven't actually heard a thing. Oh wait, I don't think this place actually has anything. Especially since we hear them coming from that way. Alright, fine. I'll play your away game. Well, it's, well, you know, we, we prepared ourselves all nicely to go in here, you know. I figured I might as well see what's in there. Alright, fine. Alright, Volkov, with this so-called plasma pistol. Plasma pistol. Alright, well, everyone's gonna just move up here into position then. It's like a fucking clown car. And no, he just doesn't want to go into Overwatch today. Yeah, we still have contacts. Oh, Jesus! They're horrifying. Alright. Now, we ha we do have a sniper shot here. 24%? You gotta be kidding me. Uh, these are really terrible shots to be taken. But, you know, it's the easiest flank in the world. It's just one move and it's just like, hey, you're behind cover. I'll take that into advisement. Uh... Uh, what's the mind frame? Holy shit! Well, they have really high will, so... It's really not a surprise to anybody. Yeah, we'll just head over here and just go... Hey... Oh, critical hit? Oh, cool! Means, uh... You can plasma pistol him pretty easily, I would say. Yeah, I'm gonna make you go point blank. There's no way you can fuck this up. Okay? I mean, it's practically execution style. There you go. And now he's earned a promotion. Good stuff. Alright, well, the last one we're just gonna have fun with then. As if we weren't having fun already. Alright, uh... <laughs> Alright, 80%. Go! Took him down! Yeah! Chalk up another one. Wow, that was easy. Another short and sweet mission. I think it rivals my 12 minute one that I did just a couple of episodes ago. But hey, we got him the promotion he deserves and wants, so. You know, that's the, that's the point. We're kind of just, uh. We're, uh. Holding his hand throughout the entire operation, so. Until he gets his squad site, and then when he has his squad site, then I can level him. So Not we're good. A single casualty. I'm certainly impressed by our soldiers' combat abilities. Yeah, she almost didn't get it. She killed, like, fucking four of them or something. Like, I gave her four of the kills on purpose. Anyways, yes, uh, once again, I'm not changing the sniper loadout relay, so I'm pretty good with the way it is. Congratulations on your first mission there, uh, Mr. Colin. And, uh, I think we have nothing really else. You know, I already have everyone equipped with ghost armor for whatever the fuck reason. Uh, oh, I also can get uh, Archangel armor. You know, people were, uh, saying I should consider to get that just to, you know, just to mess around with it, you know. You don't really get a bonus with damn good ground, but, you know, I'll show you what it does anyways. Uh, let's go to the foundry, actually, because I think we get, like, uh, 
No, we don't get super flying abilities. I guess because I, I need shivs. That's okay, though. I'll be sad another day. Oh, no, I do get it because uh, it's, it's currently researching. That's why I didn't have it. All right, yeah, we've got skeleton suit. All right, let's get fucking, I don't know. Let's get light plasma rifles, sure. That's that's something I'd want. And we got advanced flight. Wait, what did you do? Shut it down. Do not touch anything. This could be what we've been waiting for. to satisfy the doctor's curiosity. The risk was worth the reward. If we hadn't pushed on, there's no way we would have gotten this information. Well, there's a giant UFO to shoot down. And my little EMP craft here is uh, up and willing for the job. So at this point, I think you really need the firestorms to take him out, so... We're in pursuit. And... Uh oh. It's good. We're gonna be down. It's gonna be gone. No! Yes! All the .09. Maybe I should really get something like the, the tracking. Skip that. Okay, hyperwave relay. Objective final preparations. Oh, so now we get, because of the hyperwave relay, we get to actually see what's there. So the sectopod, uh, mutant elites, ethereal, ethereal. Mmm. 13 people. And a drone. Oh, well, well, drones, fuck, fuck drones, whatever. Well, this is an interesting turn of events. But we have the best team in the world to handle that kind of shit, so. From America. So, you know, just before I wrap it up, actually, let's go get some, uh, um. We're gonna get some of these things. Because they just require cyber disk wrecks, apparently. So I just get to use it whenever I want? Do I not have to, like, equip it on ships? I, I don't really know. I, I didn't really use this stuff. I guess not. So, might as well keep a couple of them around. And, uh, I think also what I'll do is maybe... I think I maybe should consider getting some more, uh, firestorms just in case I need to launch another one. Because, you know... Well, we don't have enough hangar bays. So I guess we might as well do this. I mean, workshops do finish in like a day, but anyways. So, uh, until next time, we will be watching. <laughs>